Ladies and gentlemen, friends and neighbors, boys and girls and children of all ages. days ago I told you about an experiment I'm starting out that uh, is going to compare the effects of tillage against a no tillage system as it relates to soil compaction. Now when I made that initial video I showed you some containers that I'm going to use for that and I said that I was going to pull those samples the next day which was December the 30th well December the 30th kind of got away from me and I didn't get them pulled until today which is December the 31st yeah that's my life on New Year's Eve at four o'clock in the afternoon I'm out in the field pulling soil samples to do an experiment <laughs> so I took those containers that I had and I drilled some holes in the bottom of them like I said I was going to do. I put 12 holes in the bottom of each one and that part was done. Then I went out and I picked a place in the field to pull the sample from and I picked a field that is pretty much an average for our farms around here and one that has been out of tillage it's been in a no-till system the last tillage that this particular field has seen was in the spring of 2014 so n not quite three years since any tillage has been done other than planting seed on this field and I picked a spot that was pretty even there's a cover crop growing out there and there's a lot of residue uh, I, I chopped away the residue over the spot where I was going to pull the sample and I picked one particular place where I could pull the sample and get two samples that were the same soil type, the same texture, the same kind of plant material in them so that I would have two very similar, as nearly identical as I could get soil samples. And I started digging. And my idea was that I could take a flat blade shovel which I had on hand and a carving knife and I could dig out some slugs of soil and keep them in one chunk without tearing them apart and filling the container I wanted to cut a slug that would slide down in the container and do it that way so that it was on both samples so that it was undisturbed that proved to be a little bit more difficult than I thought it was going to be uh, I had to kind of hold them together as I carved them and slid them in there but I did get it done uh, when I was done I had a hole left I was really surprised at how the, the condition of the soil um, I've got a picture here so that you can see what was left when I was done with that I filled the containers right there in the field instead of bringing it home to dry because I knew they were going to fall apart if I tried to do it that way so I just filled the containers there in the field brought them home and uh, we're going to go from there. Now, when I got them here, I decided that the thing to do was to weigh them. So I weighed the two containers. I marked them container A and container B, and I weighed each one of them. And they came up <laughs> amazingly. The weight difference between the two different containers was one and one half or 1.4 ounces difference. One was. 11 well you can see it marked on the containers I marked the containers a and B and I marked the weight of each one on the container also as you look at the picture you can see that I put a dash line around the top of each container which represents where the soil level in that particular container was so that when I wrap this up, instead of measuring down from the top of the container to where the soil is, I can measure from where the soil was to where the soil is, and I figure that might be more accurate. I'm going to let those samples dry a couple of days. Then I'm going to pick which one I'm going to apply tillage to and which one I'm going to leave undisturbed. And I'll make a video on the day that I do that because I want this process to be transparent. I don't want anyone to have any reason to say that I have unfairly treated these samples to push the results. 
Have a good evening. Happy New Year. Hope it's a good one.